People say that a Stradivarius violin sounds different partly because of the spirit of the masters who have played it before. It's as if it's incorporated into the wood. Hi, I'm Dr. Heath, psychoanalyst with Freudalicious Mind. Get to know your unconscious, it can work for you. Stradivarius instruments were made about 400 years ago in Italy and they have a really unique sound. No one quite knows why. Maybe it was the climate that affected the wood, or the special varnish on the wood, or even the design of the violin itself. But violin masters that have played on strads have a different explanation. They say they can feel the spirit of the past masters that have played the instrument before. It makes it feel and sound different. Whatever this spirit is, is channeled through the modern performer. How can this be? We talk about belief and faith as if they're the same thing, but really, they're pretty different. I believe in atoms. Everything is made out of atoms. But the theory goes that atoms are made of mostly space. So, I really believe that this rock is mostly space, held together by atomic forces. I really believe that. But if a competing theory came along that had better evidence and made better sense, I might believe that instead. I don't quite have faith that this rock is mostly space. I do have faith in love and in the power of understanding. I know these things to be true, but I don't completely know why. It taps into something unconscious. A guy named Sigmund Freud, about a hundred years ago, wrote about this thing he called a drive. He thought that this was a pressure that came from beyond consciousness, and in fact we only knew about it when it percolated up into our consciousness. These drives come into consciousness sometimes, like when we're in love, or when we're hungry, or even when we're curious. The drive comes from beyond a frontier between our conscious mind and what is beyond. And according to Freud, that stuff beyond our conscious mind comes from our body. So, when a modern-day master plays a strad, whether you believe it or not, they're channeling this spirit. It comes through the violin, through their body, from their unconscious. Like the magical sword of King Arthur, Excalibur, it's unclear if King Arthur's lawfulness and leadership abilities come from within himself or from the magical qualities of this sword. Still, it was expressed through him, in ways beyond what he could simply decide to do. He had faith. So, like with love or hope, the energy came from deep within him. What do you know to be true? Like with the violin performers whose love for their ancestors and the music helps them find themselves, it lives in them. What you have faith in tells you about yourself and your history. Let it help you understand yourself. We're out of time for today, though. Please help me keep these videos advertisement-free. Click on the link and contribute to my crowdfunding campaign. Every little bit helps. And if you like these videos, please subscribe and share. I'm here on Freudalicious Mind, Thursdays 7 Central, here on YouTube. Join us next time as we continue to explore our mind.